at a tiny shop in the tiny town of Joyce, Teresa Bentley makes everyday magic by making an everyday cleaning tool. The part that everybody seems to enjoy watching is the actual weaving. Chances are the broom hanging in your closet looks nothing like this. They are functional. They are functional. They're just really pretty. I've actually had somebody tell me that the broom works better than their vacuum cleaner. Teresa learned the age-old craft of broom making from her uncle in Kentucky. At Wicked Brooms on the Olympic Peninsula, she builds brooms using tools handed down by her uncle and a tying table with a foot-powered wheel to tighten the string as she wraps it around the broom straw. Like, to me it feels like a meditation. Broom handles can be anything from driftwood to oak sticks used to dry tobacco leaves in Kentucky barns. They're over 100 years old. No two wicked brooms are alike. I have a friend that does this type of art and she electrocutes wood. I call it a lightning broom because it looks like lightning to me, like lightning struck the wood. Teresa does custom work too, making Quidditch brooms for Harry Potter fans and transforming hiking sticks. And she said she doesn't hike that much anymore and could I put a broom on it for her? And I was like, yes, indeed I can. It's perfect. So this was a walking stick that um, I had when I was up in Alaska, and she made a beautiful broom for me. Teresa also shares broom lore. If you sweep around your husband, he'll be eternally faithful. If you lay a broom on the floor, it'll uh, indicate to your guests that it's time for them to go. Putting a broom over your door is uh, protection. That's what this one is for. She does make brooms for Wiccans and often gets asked if she's a witch. Oh yeah, all the time. What do you say? I say, aren't we all? <laughs> Watching a Wicked broom get made is spellbinding. I love doing it. I love making brooms. And using one, it's practical magic. I like the idea of taking something that is normal and making it something pretty. 